Hey, I'm Moritz. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat Live, controversy over Apple. Iron Man wird lebendig. Shock yourself into working out. Und er haltet mehr Daten für euer Handy. And Microsoft skips right to Windows 10. Und all das startet jetzt. What is going on? Like one second to get a drink, and you start the show without me. You shouldn't be drinking soda. Just so because I decided Moritz, to get a different coast. Just because Moritz came from another country to visit us at the Geek House, you think it's okay to just give my spot away? I thought so. It's probably a pretty good. It's <laughs> probably a pretty good uh, reason, actually, yeah. to be honest. Hey guys, what's happening? Yes. Welcome back to another episode. Wow, Not was just, that a double wave, John? It was. Nice. It's, uh, it's episode 150. That's right. It's not just another episode. It's a special episode. Indeed. I don't Only know why it's, it's special. Only because it's divisible by 50. I know. It's like, what, what makes 150 more special than 149? Except that Morris is here. Math. <laughs> well, he is here all the way from Ireland. That is true. And if you guys don't know him, he is uh, from Google. So we've That's been right. hanging out and... Having a good time. If you don't know him, then you're not one of the other like 647 million thousand people who follow him on Google Plus. So you should probably do that. Look yeah. him up. Indeed. Yeah, links, links below. Links below at geekbeat.tv slash live 150. Do you think you can remember that today? I think I will be it's able divisible to for by 50. once. I will be able to remember it's our episode number. also divisible by five. And? Ten. And? 150. And? 25. And? One. <laughs> 12.5. We can, I can we go, can go all on day. all day with that, so we're going to move on. Yeah. Hey, we have some exciting stuff Do happening uh, coming up in October. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This no, is exciting. This is our is new not... awesome king. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I still have not gotten over our bronchitis. My this bronchitis. Is... I don't know how I... Uh... Made that on this is a new little camera that we are testing yes. out. Can we get a shot of the camera? That's the camera. This is the Canon Vixia Mini X, and it's mounted on the Canon. <laughs> it's on the Canon CTV1 oh, remote pan now tilt it's not looking base. At uh, I have only had this for like 24 hours, and the base I've only had for about 30 minutes. Um, and uh, so we're just playing with it. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's it's great except for when it shoots up. She, I'll move that so that you can. There we go. So you can have that your looks Cali. Good right here. You can have your Cali. It's good scam. right here. Yeah, that's okay, perfect. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> better than nothing. You know what uh, else is happening this month? Yes, that is I do. Exciting. I know that uh, I have minions gummies, <laughs> minion gummies. Thanks. To Moritz, he brought those for me. Nice. Uh, they're on the they're on the super extra on the super cool. Cam. Oh, there you go. See, look at that. Nice. It's a minion gummy. I I and actually a ate a minion, minion. gummy. And what you is have, that? That's a minion. What isn't is that? It, isn't it a purple like minion? Simpsons. Yeah, it does. It, it kind, kind of looks does, like the Simpsons it? or something, or like a piece of broccoli or something. I don't know. Are you gonna eat it? Oh yeah, I'll eat it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. ate broccoli. Awesome. Uh, my my tablet turned to turned, went to sleep. Uh, what else did we have to talk about? So here we actually have a big event coming up in October. What? And a, it's a party, really. It's it's a combo of things. So we've named it 3D Palooza. If you haven't seen us uh, tweet about that, go check it out. Links below. Geeky.tv slash lab150. But here's the deal. Autodesk is coming out. They're the makers of AutoCAD Which I and love. a lot of other software. The Sketchbook Pro that we did some stuff on back uh, in a few Which months I love. ago. Yes, a lot of people do. And they are coming out with a bunch of their partners, like 3D Robotics and Faro, Faro, sorry, and um, uh, just a, oh, like a bunch, bunch of, of different people. They're going to come out, laser scan the entire building. With freaking lasers? With freaking lasers and drones and cameras, and they're gonna make a 3D model of the Geek House. Wow. So here's the deal. Why would they wanna do that? 
I don't know. Okay, I'm cool. shocked, but I'm happy. And you have stuff all over you. Did you not clean up before the show? I was probably laying <laughs> on the ground or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, join us for a series of live streams. And also we have a, um, a physical meetup here locally. You can get your hands on the drones and all sorts of stuff. We're going to have a party. We are going to have Food a party. Food and drink at the Geek House. Yes. We're so, already getting the old, I know. The old Ge wrap it up. Geek.tv slash 3D Palooza will get you to the meetup. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take our first quick, super quick commercial break. And then we'll come back and talk about the news. But you guys know what to do. Don't go anywhere because you help us pay the bills. And we need the money. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that you didn't clean up before the show. Hey guys! Welcome, that was mine. Because you ended it, no, or did I end it? Huh. Today we're going to uh, have a new drinking game. We are. K-M-H-8-A-R-I-N. Kim-H-A-R-I-N. kim ha kim <laughs> Suggested a new drinking game. Take a shot when every time Callie coughs. That's going to be a lot of shots. So go get so your by liquor. the end of this, you will be drunk off your booty. Yes, Callie still has her... Bronchitis. Bronchitis, but she's getting better. I don't better. know why it won't go away. I don't either, but it's news time. I guess I should time. stop going to the... Oh, hang on before we get to the news. One quick thing. Uh-huh. We made some changes to my Facebook profiles today. So okay. if you happen to follow slash Facebook.com slash... Callie Lewis. Callie Lewis fans then that will no longer exist as of like now. So uh, just what go to, to all those slash people? Callie Lewis because we converted that from a profile to a page. It's all complicated, all sorts of complicatedness. Did what? people who were following you get dumped? They did. Wow. I apologize, there was, no, there was no way around it. Unfortunately, when you do conversions and stuff, there's just nothing to be like. So go back to. Facebook.com forward slash Callie Lewis, yeah. and you can plus her or fan her or, or like whatever or... you kiddos do on Facebook <laughs> nowadays. But as for right now, <clears throat> it's time to talk about the news. It is. And the big news of the week is that the, e the European Commission accuses Ireland of giving Apple illegal aid. What? In the form of tax credits. So basically, they gave them a bunch of tax credits just to be buddy buddy, and now now here's the thing it's coming out. Here's the thing, Ireland says, "Well, hang on now, people. All that's happened is the European Commission has announced that they're formally looking into this, but don't worry, they're not going to formally find anything because we didn't do anything wrong. Everything we did was perfectly fine." Right. And Apple says, "Who me?" <laughs> and meanwhile, Senator Carl Levin here in the U.S. had this to say. I love this. The facts are abundantly clear. <clears throat> Apple developed its crown jewels, lucrative intellectual property, in the United States, used the tax loophole to shift the profits generated by that valuable property offshore to avoid paying U.S. taxes, then boosted its profits through a sweetheart deal with the Irish government, said Levin, who chairs the, uh, the Senate Permanent Committee on S Investigations. John, you know what? What? You should, you should become a, a, a professional storyteller, like a bedtime storyteller. Because of my calming demeanor mm -hmm. while I tell these stories? Yeah. I'm pissed. Okay, so here's the thing. It's not in my note. Wait, is it in my notes? No, it's not in my notes. But the, the point of this story is that in uh, with certain things... Oh, do we get the super close-up cam? Oh, gosh. With certain it's things... It's John P. Rant cam. Apple only paid 0.05% <laughs> tax on profits. That's what you're upset about? Not that they're looking into Apple? Yeah, that's what I'm upset about. Okay. 0.05% tax. You know what I'm upset about? What? Is that eBay and PayPal are now becoming complete 
different companies. How dare them? You got too far back. You I know, that's all up because I don't want the to be that. You don't like there. the, the close-up like cam. I don't like the close-ups. Oh, that makes you angry, does it? No, it doesn't I didn't think at all. <laughs> but that so, is a good but point. They are, that is happening, actually. So eBay is spinning off PayPal. They have been the same company. They quote, rapidly changing global commerce and payments landscape for the reason that they're doing this. Yeah, in other words, they rapidly made a lot of money and now they're going to cash out. They think actually, so here's the deal. So like for eBay, one in six dollars is through PayPal. And they think that by splitting up those payments or And when that, you say one in six dollars, you mean one, one sixth of all e-commerce oh, oh, is basically e going sorry. through PayPal. Right. And so... They think that they can increase that percentage if they split it off, make it a different company, and do their thing. And let Dan Schulman, who's formerly from American Express, run the whole thing as CEO. Right. Maybe he can. Maybe, Maybe I don't he know. Can. Maybe he can. I hope I, I, I hope I own some eBay stock. What you hope you don't own is stock in uh, for, Phones for You. It's yeah. a uh, smartphone retailer in the UK. And they recently went bankrupt. They closed down, but not before they sold a bunch of iPhone 6s. And now, if you are a customer who ordered an iPhone 6 and 6 Plus through Phones for You, you're screwed. Actually, they did modify that a little bit. But that is what happened originally. Yeah, they said, no more phones for you, even if you ordered them and paid for them. <laughs> Actually, they did not or have changed that. They, they did say that they were going to, and then they went back on it. Well, what I heard, what I heard by reading the notes was... <laughs> what I read by reading the actual story was... Well, what I heard was that later they went back and said, okay, if you actually ordered one, we're going to get it to you. Mm -hmm. But you can't get a refund or anything, which means that even best case scenario, if you ordered the phone through them, and then even if they do deliver it to you, if there's some problem, you, ha you can't go back to them with it. You have to go through Apple and stuff. But some people are just screwed one way or another, I guess. I can't, but then, I can't click through on this. I know Car Phone Warehouse, one of their uh, competitors basically said, you know what, if they screw you, we'll take care of you. You can uh, come to us and show us a valid thing where you paid them for it. And right. I don't know. I don't they, know how that's going to work. Like, get, they're going like, to give them a free iPhone if they uh, paid the other guys or something? It might be. Um, hey, it's you know, probably a marketing, a marketing gimmick. gimmick, so yeah. it would work, right? Yeah, but hey, that would be pretty cool. Now, if you're an AT&T, Sprint, or Verizon customer... Here you're going to be States. super unhappy when you get a whole bunch of brand new free stuff? Well, why would you be unhappy? I don't know. We've been unhappy about everything else, oh, okay. so I just figured we're going <laughs> to start off by being unhappy with this. This is a happiness one. I don't know why Like all of these companies got together and said for the w month of October, we're just going to give away a bunch of data. I don't know how this happened. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's, it's Oktoberfest. It's Oktoberfest. They're all drunk and making silly decisions and giving you double the data. Yeah, but only for one month. Only for one month. It's like, now, here, use a whole bunch of data this month. Don't get all addicted to it now because we're taking it away, away next month. <laughs> So, but anyway, you gonna tell them what the offer is? So uh, AT and T is giving you uh, 30 gigs instead of five, 15 for 130 dollars, or you can get 100 gigs instead of 50. They're basically for doubling. dollars. Yeah, that, it, I did tell them it was doubling. But, but only on plans over 10 gig per month. Right. Right. Yeah, and then Sprint and then, is offering 60 gig for what? 60 uh, gig at the $130 level, 80 gig at the $150 level, 120 gig at two. Anyway, this is I why think we it have doesn't notes matter because we can't remember all those numbers. It doesn't matter because by the time you hear about this, you don't have anything to do with all that bandwidth, and they're going to take it away at the end of the month anyway. So why are we even talking about it? Move on. All right, we're going to move on to commercial break then, and maybe we'll calm down a little. Maybe we'll get happy about things instead of unhappy about everything. Gummy. Mm, that'll work. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I hope you're having a great time. No, you made me stop last time because you said it was your turn, and then this time you maybe, just... Maybe during the commercial break we should actually discuss We were this. having way too much fun in the commercial break talking about other things, like eating aliens. donut burgers and kissing aliens. So, 
I don't know. It's awkward. But it's gadget time! <gasps> uh, so let's talk about apps. gadgets. So Microsoft actually came out this week and surprised everyone! They did. OMG. Uh, they, what? I forgot. What'd you forget? I just installed Microsoft Windows 10 Wait, on no, the Surface 3. Wait, no, we're talking about 9. That, that, no, was no, no, the, no. that was the next update. It's 10. Nine. It's 10. They skipped number 9. They skipped number 9 and went straight for 10. What? Wow. I think... I think they had to uh, basically make a statement because what they were doing with this new 10 version is completely like undoing everything they did with 8. It's like kissing an <laughs> alien on the mouth. Right, of course. Just the last thing you would expect. Right. right? So they skipped 9 and they said, bam, we're just coming out strong, clean, we've listened to you, and here's what's going on. So Can y'all hear Moritz? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was explaining why they did it. Okay. <laughs> He's a programmer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 10 is now out. Um, <laughs> they came out with a whole bunch of things. I think we have a video, actually, to show Do you we? what it looks like. Wait, so... So, I, I don't look at my I hear notes, audio Dave. in my ear. I hear audio, I'm so. told there's no audio, but, <laughs> but I hear audio. So, uh, they, they basically kind of removed all the tiles and, and booty up into that system. You're doing um, it wrong. What? You're supposed to be narrating what he's saying. Okay, go for it. This, this particular version of Windows was made for big, giant screens. Look, here is a screen that has text in the format of tables. Oh, we look. can drag it around. It's, it's very sunset. unusual. There is a sunset in the background. We have covered up the lady who was not wearing her bikini because <laughs> that would be inappropriate to show on a live television show. So and that's I pretty much Windows 10 for you. Don't think that that is exactly what happened, but... Um, close. It's close. It's close. So uh, it kind of looks more like Windows 7 was before Windows They brought back 8 the start bar. Along. That's all you need to know. The start menu is back. So for more, if you want to see it up close and personal, go to geekbeat.tv slash live 150. All the notes below. Okay. Here, what? What is he trying? Is the live audience trying to start a yes, wave? Yes, they're trying to start a is wave. Is that what there's I'm a wave, seeing? There's a wave beginning in the live audience. Here's a wave. Yeah, there you go. So I don't know. That, that was a... It was a pretty, right, pretty, right. That was a pretty pitiful wave, guys. No, it was pretty good, actually. If you think about it in terms of percentage of participation, that, that what, was an excellent wait, wave. Wait, I don't think Lynn, Lynn was out, wave. so 99.99%. No, it was a very, very good wave. Anywho, <laughs> what's next? The, the Pavlok... Okay, uh, there's a Kickstarter project that just went crazy. Came out fully funded, I think doubled their funding in the first day. Uh huh. I am shocked that people, well, are paying. Do we have a video or something? To be shocked. Yes. The secret to transformation is not to try harder, it's to replace bad habits with the habits of excellence. If you wanted to transform yourself, how would you start? First, Identify the habits that hold you back. Pair them with a negative stimulus, like electric shock. Each surge of voltage trains your brain and weakens the neural connection until the bad habit is severed. Next, replace the bad habit with a positive one. Reward yourself when you complete your daily goal. Commit to a penalty if you fail. <laughs> The fear so of let me make sure that I understand Zodalia, the Kickstarter the project uh -huh. directly. Motivate yeah. your prefrontal um, cortex. If, this is for a fitness than 30 tracker, days, let's be clear about that. So the, the, basically, if I, have it, if I have it down correctly, uh, if you don't work out, get tased. Correct. That, if you that work would out, be... don't tase me, bro. Correct. So you wear a fitness tracker. A you, taser. You wear a taser that also tracks your steps and behavior. And uh, if you don't go to the gym on time or daily or whatever your goals are that you set, it's gonna shock it you. will shock you. I can't believe that so many people... Would you do it? I, I'm very interested in it, yes. But I can't believe Dave said that in my so ear many hole, people it's are like willing the rubber band to be shocked. Thing. Right. Like, you have one on your wrist. It's when people go like... <laughs> <laughs> you grab it and you just flip it, you know, you just kind of go, you go like this. 
Plink, now, now I'm plink, never wearing plink, this thing plink. again. This is going in my pocket because now I know what John is going to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so they're already at 84,000 out of a 50. They have over 500 gold. people who've already backed it. Right. They're lining up to get shocked. People, now, I believe it costs $149. I will make you a deal. If you pay me $99, I will shock you with a real taser. That is a much, much better deal as far as value per voltage is concerned. So think about it. $99, John P. shocks you with a taser. $149, the wimpy thing that they call a watch. How are you going to tase everybody daily when they don't go to the gym? Exactly. No, I'm just saying, show up. I'll just tase you for $99. But then that would require them having to come. Just this line up outside the geek house. Expectations. In the morning, I'll open the door. You come in. I just tase them. Eat one at a time. They fall into a pile, and we just move them and tase them and move them and tase them. We just move them through like cattle. Just tase and move. $99 <laughs> a piece. This is a good money-making scheme. Don't worry, people. We're not going to do that to you. I would do that to you <laughs> if you want me to, if you're willing I do to think, pay actually, me. we have one coming in for review, so uh, we will get our hands on it, and one of us will, be, will accept the tasing. Yeah. Okay. You just uh, did you just tell me I'm going to do that? We have one minute left. We are skipping to number eight, Dave Curley. Yes. Number eight. You weren't even supposed to get number seven. Yes. Number eight, renewable lithium batteries. Now this, this is truly cool, people. Yes, this is very, very cool. So what happens is you get a <laughs> lithium. I'm just gonna let you talk about it. That's right. Lithium batteries uh, wear out over time, <laughs> right? So what tends to happen is you have to go and recycle them somewhere, but they don't really know what to do with this stuff. Well now, a project out of Angstrom Laboratory over at Uppsala University in Sweden, that's where the Swedish bikini team is, by the way. Uh, is that the Geek Beat bikini team? Yeah, that they're. Wait, they're, or is the they're, Swedish they're bikini kind of, team the Geek Beat? They're kind of related. Team? They're kind of related. Anyway, uh, that what they're doing is they extract the lithium from these old batteries and they mix it with alfalfa and organic. Pine resin. This is very interesting. And what and happens... And it makes for a delicious topping right. for your salad. No, but what actually happens is this new battery has 99% the capacity of the original lithium battery. So, essentially, you get almost as much as you got before, and now you've recycled it and you've renewed it, and that's awesome. And yeah. actually, I think that they are expecting this new version to outdo lithium ion batteries. Oh, really? Future. Yeah. What I want to know is how many times can you send it in for repinization, yeah, re alfalfanization? Re don't think they figured that out. Dave Curley said in my ear that you could just drive your car into a tree, a pine tree now, and recharge it. Could work. You don't know. Who, we don't know these things yet. It's technology, it's amazing. And it's time for a commercial. Are you going to try that now? I don't Go know. Go drive into I, a pine tree? I do. I'm staring. That was your turn, right? Because I, I don't know anymore. Time. Welcome back to Geek Beat Live, folks. What are you staring at? Duran in the, uh, I'm sorry. I'm Big sorry, D? Mystery man in the uh, live audience uh -huh. is weird. scheming He's or something. Weird. Did you I, I know don't that he has an, that guy. Did you know he actually has an axe here? What? A, a real axe. Why? It's in the building. Yes, he literally has an axe to grind. <laughs> and he has anyway. a real axe in the building. What time is it? When it's is his review time. coming out about how to Monday. sharpen knives and Carter, whatnot? you got that? Monday. I'm not. Oh, my God. <laughs> see? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Scary. Oh. This is this is a day in the life of the geek house. Yeah. You never know. You know what else is scary? Where's my sword? I feel kind of naked without it. Mm. What else is scary? Where is your sword? Do you even have that I here? I don't know where my sword is. I don't know where I my sword not. is. Anyway, um, Iron Man. Yeah. We were talking about him during commercial yeah, breaks. Yeah, you said that he was the sexiest man ever. You no, really thought I didn't he was actually hot. Say Besides that. Dave Curley. 
I didn't actually yada, yada, use those yada, words, yada. but I do love Iron Man. Um, You're like, Robert Downey Jr., please come and date me, or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I don't think I said that either. But here is a, uh, actually, Patrick Preeb, um, for he's a YouTube sensation because he always does these crazy things, uh -huh. these projects, where he makes stuff that is totally dangerous, totally not safe, which is the same thing. Why, why won't you let <laughs> you me do that? You should not do it. Yeah. Can we, well, as soon can as the garage the gets video? cleaned out, I'm going to build something Because I don't want John dangerous. getting any ideas. Like a catapult. So this, he created a working Iron Man missile launcher. Yeah. Did that thing just bounce? Yeah. <laughs> He uh, he don't he doesn't a, ever tell you how he does this because he doesn't want anybody building it and hurting themselves. Yeah, he says that it took 250 hours for him to build a working uh, Iron Man rocket launcher thing, and it also has a laser in the palm. Right, and it's like capable of like popping a balloon or something. He'll the, he'll show you. Look, pop, bow, there you go. pop. The rocket uses a model rocket motor and a small explosive warhead. You know what? Yes. It's all fake. No, it's not. It's fake. No, it's not. I hate to blow your impression of how dangerous he is, but that. it's fake. It's not fake. Look it's at it. It's fake. He it's just hurt himself. He just burned a hole in his head. Did his, you in his see arm. it? Did you see the holy bird it in his arm? It said on YouTube uh -huh. that it happened, so it happened. <laughs> okay, right. So what you guys should do is you can go to... Ain't this the guy that made the gravity boots and mm -hmm. made the fire... No, it's a different guy, I think. This is a different guy. You should go to geekbeat.tv forward slash live 150, get the link to that video, and then skip forward to where he shoots it off with his arm, and listen... I swear, do this. Look very closely. Put it in full screen mode. Put it in high quality. And if you look, you will see a little black line coming from his arm straight forward. I'm telling you, a little black line coming from his arm. And notice that the camera cuts a whole lot. There's like all these jump cuts. There is a little black line. He's got like a little bottle rocket or something that he shoots out of there. It's all fake. Here, look. It's all fake. Yeah, zoom in. Can we see it? Keep zooming in. Show me that little black line. Can you see it? There's a little... Oh, oh, look at that. There is a little... You can see the, the black line in the cloud. You see it? You see it? So what it's are you fake. saying? It's all fake. It's all fake. It's fun, but it's fake. We spent a long time on that episode. I'm very on that upset particular, at you. We spent a long time on that one little story, like super micro analyzing. Like Pablo's already given us the whole That's wrap okay, it up. Pablo. There, there is no We're time keep going. left. Don't worry. Doesn't matter. We're keeping going, just so, to make Pablo nervous. There is one other thing happening in the world of the web. That's right. Netflix and IMAX got together. Netflix uh, actually funded the production of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon Part Two. Part duh. And they are going to release that in theaters and online for service, for streaming at the same exact time. Now, this is a rare occurrence. But when you say they're releasing it in theaters and for streaming at the same time, the theaters are all going to boycott it. Okay, but here's the thing. I do not understand why the theaters are going to boycott the the show showing of it in the theaters because basically they're, they're just idiots. giving in to Netflix yeah. and saying here have the stream yeah. the we're not going to be make any money off of yeah. it what the, the heck? we're not going to make any money off this movie that you made because then you might make money off the movie that you made and we can't have that. Yeah, we, we can't It doesn't have, make a single it, it drop is, of sense it, to me. It is stupid because then people are going to be like, wait, I can't see it there? Okay, I guess I'm I'll going sign up for Netflix. Netflix. So, so and then they sign Netflix, up for Netflix. And, and we do support torrenting. Now. Right. Exactly. Now, what happens is that somebody who doesn't have Netflix will be like, wait, uh, if I were to go to the movie, I'd have to pay like $90 for a ticket or something. I got to go exactly. sign up for Netflix for like... 30 days for free and watch this movie, and then they're gonna go and be like, wow, there's a bunch of other good stuff right. on here. I'll just keep doing it. This is just not is wise people. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. That's okay. What's also ridiculous is that this uh, glass of water that you drink could be older than the uh, entire universe. That is true. That is true, because scientists have now decided 
after doing some analysis, uh, Isle, Isle Cleves from the University of Michigan said that there is enough heavy water contained in the Earth's water ecosystem that it could not have been naturally occurring right. on the planet Earth. It had to have come from actually before the Earth was created. It's a little confusing on how that would have existed before the Well, what Earth. they're saying is there was basically a giant space iceberg right. with all this frozen water that was just degrees above zero Kelvin or whatever, right? It's like like big frozen popsicle. And when bam, the or the universe was created, Earth was created. Yeah, probably. It you was know, like right there, and then there was, it got splat. It, got, it heated up and splashed and became water on Earth. There was probably some gigantic. Wait, are you saying are you saying that Earth is the original Titanic? Uh, yes, Earth maybe. Is the original Titanic. Let me Good explain. Call, Dave. Let me explain how this all happened. How this all came about for you people. <laughs> okay, I can. I can explain how this happened for you people. Essentially, there was a great omnipotent. Uh, there was a great omnipotent Snoop Dogg character. He Wait, was what? ginormous. He was eating a popsicle in one hand. He was smoking some weed in the other hand. He took a bite of the popsicle. He's like, oh, that's cold. And like some fell out of his mouth. And he took like, and like a little ash came off of there. And that ash turned into our sun. And the popsicle turned into our earth. And that's how it all began. They're snoring in the chat room. That's how, that's how it actually happened. They're you can snoring. check the books. It's on Wikipedia. I know. I put it there. <laughs> you guys go check Wikipedia. <laughs> and while on the second day, break. he had chips. <laughs> and on the third day, he had a burger. And on the fourth day, Twinkies were invented. And on the fifth day, they took Twinkies away. But on the sixth day, somebody else bought Twinkies and brought it back. So it's okay oh. because on the seventh day, we were able to rest and watch the football game with our Twinkies. How do you Folks, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. Callie finally let me say it. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad you did it because I was waiting on you. I was just gonna sit here silently until the, you did it. The only reason she let me do it was because she knows that it's robot time. I was being nice to you before I talk about robots that will kill us all. I know. See? Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> all right. This is a Kickstarter project called Drodies. And called they, what? Drodies. D-R-O-D-I-E-S. Okay, Drodies. They are they're Droidles? Droidles? Droid droidies. droidies. It's called Droidies. Ben! <laughs> oh, it's called Droidles. Ben, your atrocious incorrectly. spelling. They're called dro Droidles. Droidles, Droidles. Okay, what are they? They're anyway? social robots. What? Isn't that a Jewish talk? Dro I mean, a droidles. Droidles. Droidles, Droidles, Droidles. Droidles, Droidles. I play with you every day. <laughs> This is, these are little like robots that are social. They talk to each other, they communicate with each other, and they can learn on their own. So when activated, they can, like you saw them running down the hall, right? So basically mm -hmm. what happened was one little robot said to the other little robot, hey, let's go for a run, let's goof off and have some fun. And, and was the they, other robot like, no, I'd rather drink my cherry Coke and have some chips. Exactly, and then the first robot was like, no, dude, I'm gonna kill you if you don't have some fun with me. And so then they he said, okay. And so oh then they started running around and having some fun. Anyway, this is a Kickstarter project. Unfortunately, it's not going said, so you. well. Well, he said, I'm going to give you a wedgie, is what he said. I'm okay. pretty sure. Okay. Um, so anyway, these are, uh, it's but not going so well. But you said it's well. not going so well. $13,000 of a $50,000 goal with only one week left. How many so tens of thousands like of dollars these, of that was your bid? Was your support? I don't disclose the amount of funding I give robots. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, it is pretty cool. It's all iOS and Android uh, control. They're they're connected via Bluetooth. How much and do they want for them? And it's 100% open source. How much are they to support it? Somebody look it up for us. Yeah, How much are us, droidles? I don't remember. To to like get a droidal. I mean, why? That seems a like the kind of thing that would have done. Droidal. Dro is it droidal or droidal? I'm now confused. Droidal. It's okay. a droidal. It seems like it would have done better. 
$90. I know. Oh, they're 90, 90, 90 bucks get you a droidal? Is that too much? People aren't willing to pay 90 bucks for their own little droidal. Well, it, only one because you need, like, they're social, right? So you need multiples. You need, like, 20 of them, right? Right. They're swarm robots. So you should be able to get 20 of them. Okay, 20 so of if they want 90 bucks for one, It's just yeah. $1,800 for 20 of them. Right. Every, they should be selling, I Not mean, like, problem. hotcakes. What is going to sell for hotcake, by, like hotcakes, is the Herald. This is the hybrid Herald? exploration robot for air and land development. That's a long title. But it's freaking cool. Oh, it yeah? is a drone and snake robots all wrapped into one. Oh, I already don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, see this drone, it's flying around, uh -huh. it can go up, blah, 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 do its thing. Mm -hmm. And then, when it comes down, it can actually detach those little things that are hanging down. And oh. those are little snake robots. Oh. See? It's, it's via magnet, so it just drops it. Oh, And then no. these snake robots go and do their thing. Oh. That's your throat, John. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so what you're telling me is you can fly that right over me, drop it on my head, and then squish my head with a snake robot. Well, it's really meant for That's what you're telling me. You're telling me you could drop it on my head and squish my head with a snake robot. I wouldn't do that to you, John. But you could. I would not do that to you. I am more sensitive than that. It has 20 minutes of uh, independent flight uh, for the drone, or if it's got the snakes attached to it, it's only 10 minutes. It cuts that in half because they're so heavy. But... Because they're so heavy, because they're so strong, they can squash a human head like a grape? <laughs> you know how I've shown you the snake robots that can get more, like they can maneuver tight spaces, right? Yes. That's the purpose. So imagine you have a bad situation, somebody is crushed in, under something and you don't know where they are, you fly the drone over, the rubble, you drop the snakes, they search it, they find it, call back, show the rescuers where it is, and then they get rescued. Why would you want to kill somebody, allow somebody to be dead because they couldn't find them? My only question in that whole scenario is, what was it that caused all the destruction and rub rubble? An earthquake. Probably robots. It was an earthquake. Probably robots. Okay, I'm supposed to stop now and shut up and let you talk now about auto trains and planes and automobiles. It's planes, trains, and automobiles time, Thanks, people. Pablo. And we have some great stories for you today. The first one being actually the most awesome commercial I have seen. Yeah, since Jean Claude did the splits between those two trucks. Watch this. This people is the new Peugeot. It's a 208 GTI, and it is a remake of an old commercial. Look at this. He's like, uh huh. He said, I see you. I got my eyes on you. This remakes an old commercial from 30 years ago for the 205 GTI. Listen, listen. You made me wait. I know. About 30 years. Because it's 30 years since it was a remake. Oh, okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I don't think she would be that upset. I think she would be more upset if he made her wait 30 years. She was probably not even born 30 years ago, but it was not so a literal thing. it doesn't thing. really make sense, it, then. It doesn't make sense to robots, okay? <laughs> but to the rest of us, yes, it does. Now, other things that do not make sense at all... The FAA trying to save our lives. I don't even understand why they get How are they all trying to save our that. lives? But what's going to happen is the FAA has decided that after doing some testing uh, on the ground, Boeing found out that some 737s and 777s had uh, some displays in them that could be affected by Wi-Fi signals. Now, this hasn't happened in the air, but... On the ground. So what you're saying is when we were flying back from Germany, we could have died. We could have died. Wow. But we didn't die. But uh, they've had this kind of voluntary thing where they've said that these, these, uh, these screens need to be hardened and basically you know, removed and replaced with hardened versions okay. of them that are Wi-Fi proof. Oh. But recently, the FAA made that no longer optional. Oh. They decided that it's now mandatory, but they're not telling anybody why. 
And that, my friends, Ebola. What do you mean? is weird. It's probably Ebola. It probably <laughs> is Ebola. In fact, I have, I heard recently from someone I trust dearly that it was Ebola. And by recently, I mean like two seconds ago in my ear, it was Dave Curley. But I'm sure it's probably accurate. Okay, moving on to our next story of the day. Callie's gone now. <laughs> I don't want to catch Ebola. Honda Ebola. Honda is Ebolis. actually bringing the first Android OS based yeah. infotainment system to cars. It's actually the first pretty, one ever. Yeah. Can you imagine? Why is it's it just Honda. the first one? I don't know, but Honda Connect. So it's uh, not Android Auto. It's not the one that's made for auto. It's a full-on version of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. But are they going to so, lock it down so you can't do anything uh, but what they want you to? Well, I don't to? know. It's going to work through the Honda App Center. They're going to have a 7-inch touch screen. It's going to be standard in European 2015 Civics, Civic Tours, and CRV. So it's not going to be in the U.S. What? But it's going to be... Our friends over across the pond are going to be able to get them. Is Moritz going to get it? Moritz could get it if he wanted it, but you cannot. Hmm. However, their new marketing I'm slogan... I'm not accustomed to not getting what Honda's I Honda's new marketing... I know. Honda's new <laughs> marketing campaign is going hot to be... Hot girls have a hard time, don't they? Yeah, hot girls have a hard time. <laughs> Honda's new marketing campaign is going to be... Buy a Civic, get ice cream sandwich for free. Really? That's what it's going to be. That's cute, actually. I'm almost certain of it. Oh. I have it on very good authority from somebody who's unbelievably authoritative. You mean like that little guy that sits on your shoulder and whispers things to he's you? He's brilliant. Uh-huh. And I'm sure he's right. So it's time for us to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to do a check-in to see where everybody's watching from, and then an unboxing. Or three. Or three. Hey folks, welcome back. It's Geek Beat Live. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I'm Batman. <laughs> we are going to do unboxings because it's always Christmas here at the Geek House. But we not get lots of yet. Stuff. Not yet. It is time first for a check-in. We want to hear where you guys are from. First and foremost, we've got Jonathan Hollis from the McMurdo Station in Antarctica at the Pole. That's right. Take beat, a look. Beat this one, folks. I don't think anybody can beat that one. He is literally holding up a Geek Beat sign okay. beside the sign marking the South Pole. Nice, but some come close. Catwick, Netherlands, uh, Lancashire, Imatra, Finland, Mallorca in Spain, uh, Taranaski, Colt, Gary, Pol Gory, Poland, crap, I can't say that. Tallahassee, Florida, North Devon, oh God, I feel like about Pakistan, Dramen, Norway, San Francisco, California, Paducah, Kentucky, Meden, North, North Sumatra, Sumatra, Indonesia. Gap, France, Stratoshire, UK. S Staffordshire. Staffordshire, I can't read either. Calgary, Alberta, Canada, I'm failing miserably. Stockton, California, Toon, Denmark. Cedar, Cedar Park, Park Texas, Texas, Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, Kenesha, Georgia, Hopedale, Mass, Fairfield, Fairfax County, County, Virginia, Fall River, Mass, Freezing Dubuque, <laughs> IA, Portland, Oregon, Irvine in Texas, uh, Edwardsburg, Michigan, Innsbruck, Austria, Austin, Texas, Laguna Niguel, California, <laughs> <laughs> Quincy, Illinois, Middlesbrough, UK, Denmark, Navistad. Our, Our national, national sport, sport is, is drinking, drinking a lot of beer. Logandale, Nevada, Goth Cambridge, Massachusetts, Gothenburg, Gothenburg, Sweden, Tallahassee, Florida, uh, Robotlandia, the Chicken Coop, New Windsor, New York, Pakistan, Zoomer, nice. Um, Pedras Negras, Mexico, Melbourne, Antrim, Australia. Northern Ireland. Nice. Good day, mates. Ohio, uh, Romania. Saudi Arabia. Nice. You guys are awesome. Uh, New Windsor, the chicken coop. New Windsor, New York. I already said that oh, all. Uh, Wadsworth, Ohio. Uh -huh. Cra Cra Craiova, Romania. Kokomo, Indiana. Vinray, Netherlands. Melbourne. Uh, yeah, wow. How awesome is America, it? America. New York Jonathan City. Is <laughs> right in, in front of John P. This, right. <laughs> How awesome is it that Jonathan Hollis is, is down, you know, in Antarctica? That is that amazing. Is really cool. And you know what? It's really cool. Uh, you know what? 
We're going to get to meet him soon. That's right. He's coming He's home, coming isn't home he? He's coming home to the States. Can't, can't wait to meet him. Yes. Anyway. Okay, it's unboxing uh, time. Unboxing time. Uh, this Let's one. This one looks like it's from Lynn Wilkerson. Of course it is. So it because is he's here in town. designed to make us fat. That's right. I already <laughs> so, know what's in there. It's something to make us fat. That's right. We know that for sure. We just don't know what what is the methodology of fatness. You probably just punched it. Did you, that was not I, very good uh, uh, knife technique. No, I didn't cut anything. There. Let's see here. What do we have here? Okay, let's see. Gone nuts. Oh my God. White chocolate. <gasps> Cashews, almonds, That's and... That's mine. How do you say that? Cacao nuts? How do you say that? Cacao? Cocoa? Cocoa, I don't. <laughs> Gone nuts, spicy chipotle, pistachio, and pumpkin seeds. I don't know what and else is in there, but I don't really care because... Mesquite pod maple walnuts. <gasps> oh, good stuff. Thanks, Lynn. Oh my Lynn. gosh, look at you this. You know what? It is. Let me get a bigger Wait, piece I have to, to point show something you. out. Look at this. These are Geek Fit approved. Cashew? No, it's not. Yeah, we can eat these. They're nuts. We're allowed to eat these. These are nuts. This is a cashew with almond, crushed almonds and cocoa. I don't know. Okay. Here, show it on the show it on the oh, epic cam. Sorry, in my mouth. Oh, well, okay. This one has spicy chipotle, pistachios and pumpkin seeds. Wait, where's the white chocolate? I don't know. It says it has white chocolate on it. And this is mesquite maple, mesquite, maple, walnuts. Okay. Yeah, white chocolate is not good. Next package. Fruit. Next package. Thanks, this one came all the way from Glasgow, UK. Really? O-M-G. Do you know what that means? No. I do. <gasps> well, oh, wait. Yes. It is Yay. indeed. Oh, look. It's from RHA. Do you guys remember? Um, we did, when we were at IFA, we went by their booth and mm -hmm. we saw them. And they make these incredible looking headphones, the T10Is. These are the ones we were telling you about that are made of injection molded Stainless hot, steel. liquid hot magma. Right. Liquid hot magma. So when you put them in your ears. They're hot. Um, these things, we have been waiting. These are brand new. These come with uh, the, the actual uh, headphones. The, these pieces right here, they basically inject them into a mold and they, they're 40% larger uh, than, because they've got kind of a silicon material or something in with them. And then as they cool, they shrink down to this size. And I don't even know what to say. That's just the coolest thing ever. Yes. And they come with these little tuning plugs and all these earpieces. The packaging is just gorgeous. And on the these. packaging is awesome. And yeah, weren't they like $199? I want to say I that's I swear right. I think they yeah. supposed to, these should be like 500 bucks, but they are like $199. So awesome. We'll we can, give, I can't we'll, wait to get those. I'm not going to open those I'm yet. I'm totally We're stealing these from you. Take a look. Take a look at those. And we have one more package even here. You're the one who found it. <laughs> this one, this one is from actually. From Illinois, from Vision Tech. Vision, oh. Yes, actually, two brand new products. They said we're not allowed to fight over them. Wait, oh, so they sent us two? No, but they're different. Oh, they're different. They're two different ones. They, okay. You may think they're not, but they are different. So these are brand new charging hubs, but one of them, let's see, this one is the Charge and Sync the Charge and Sync USB 3. Look, you can get it right there. Charge and Sync USB 3 seven port hub. This oh, one. Oh, and this is a high power USB seven port charging hub. That's right. I think this is the one that will plug into your computer Ooh. and allow you to use some of the ports. One of them is just for charging and one of them right. connects to your computer. So this is the one that connects to your computer, yeah, I believe. This is just the charging. Let's see what's the difference between the two. How's it look? Okay, no, you have a lot more lights. Oh yeah, this one is USB three. So this is a USB three hub. So there are three, four USB three hub ports, and then there's a, there are two one amp output ports, and one two amp output port. So this one you plug in and it does that. This awesome. one has. 
four one amp output ports and three 2.4 amp output ports. Nice. So this one would be good for charging all of your devices. Mm -hmm. That one's good for charging your devices, and but syncing. also connecting four of them up to your computer. Very and cool. if I, I recall want, correctly, I so. if I recall correctly, I think they're 49 bucks each. Whoa, seriously? Only 49? They look good. They're nice because they're like they're actually, nice. they're not plastic. They're made of right. like... But they're light aluminum. at the same time, you know? Aluminium, I'm sorry for, <laughs> for my friends across the pond. So yeah, we're gonna give those suckers a try. Cool. We're gonna try out the headphones. Yes. She's already eating the food. Yep. I've got my gummies. Awesome. The show is over. And you guys are awesome. We love you. Thank you so much for hanging out. And Thanks for sticking up with us. I don't know why you do it. Thanks for sticking with us through 150 episodes. <laughs> you guys are insane. But we love you. We will try and get yes, better in the apologize. next 150. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. You can follow her on Twitter at <laughs> twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis, facebook.com forward slash Callie Lewis, googleplus.com forward slash plus Callie Lewis. And you can follow him at google.com slash plus John P, twitter.com slash John Pose, or facebook.com slash John Pose. John P, John Pose. And on elo.co forward slash John P. You definitely want to follow him there. That's just embarrassing. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a good week. See you next week. Bye-bye.